Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, welcome to Robert's Report. Show me your host, Robert. All right, Game Changer Wrestling, the best of 2022, and the kickoff to the showcase of the independence here on Robert's Report Show. So in January of 2023, I'm going to profile each and every day a different independent wrestling company, 31 in all. We're going to call it the showcase of the independence. Um, there's going to be a category of that. If you look on the main page of Robert's Sports Show on YouTube, you're going to see all the different categories. It's going to be a showcase of the independence. Um, we're going to do companies such as um, Prestine Wrestling, Re West Coast Pro Wrestling, Re Warrior Wrestling, Impact Wrestling, um, Glory Pro Wrestling, uh, <laughs> Action Wrestling. There's so many beyond wrestling. There's so many of them. Um, there's going to be 31 that I'm going to you know, watch, um, watch most of the shows again. Three fourths of them. I want to watch all the shows of 2022. There's going to be a handful toward the end of the month. I'm not going to be able to watch every show from 2022, but I'm going to do my best and get those up. But we're going to start that off with my favorite independent wrestling company, Game Changer Wrestling. I know right now on Fight TV, Fight TV Plus to be exact, $4.99 a month, you have Till Infin uh, Infinity. Um, that show will not be involved in the best of. Um, again, it is on right now. I'm going to watch it so I'm done here. Um, but yeah. So this is everything except for Till Infinity. Um, I will try to do a review of that on the first before 56 Days happens. Um, so yeah. So Game Changer Wrestling um, began in January of 1999 as JCW, Jersey Championship Wrestling. It got rebranded in 2013 to Game Changer Wrestling. It was purchased by Brett Lauderdale in 2015. So... It also has two kind of de almost developmental kind of LA fights on the West Coast and then on the East Coast, Jersey Championship Wrestling, JCW. Uh, there's a big JCW show on YouTube on the Game Changer channel, uh, January 1. So in 2022, this was the biggest season in Game Changer Wrestling history, 729 matches, 89 shows in all. Um, I spent over well over $700 on shows. I've watched every Game Changer show in the last three years, 2020, 2021, and 2022. Um, 573 men's matches, 47 women's, 109 intergender. Um, back in 2020, there was only 234 matches, 28 shows. In 2021, we had 450 matches, 46 shows, and then this year just exploded. Um, now I love every minute of it. To be honest with you, I want to. I do want to go back and watch um, more from 2015 on, 20, you know, 2013 on on the history of Game Changer. That is one of my New Year's resolutions is to watch more Game Changer wrestling. <laughs> but that is the plan to eventually watch the backlog of stuff I haven't seen of theirs and do a all time best of. Um, but currently, Game Changer Wrestling World Heavyweight Champion, Nick Gage, he's actually the only contracted Game Changer talent. Um, that's something that, from what I was reading online, that they didn't want to have contracts um, deal with all that. But because of what Nick Gage has done for Game Changer and put them on the map, to be honest with you, um, he's the only one that's contracted with them. Everybody else is kind of independent talent. They come and go. But Nick Gage, is, he, he's the man. Um, 82 days as champion. The, G, the GCW World Tag Titles, Los Mazizos, Seco Play, Media Extremo, 68 days and counting. The GCW Ultraviolet Champion, Rima Yamashita, 138 days and counting. She's beast. Um, the GCW Extreme Champion, Joey La Janela, 81 days and counting. So I'm going to run down the best 22 matches of 2022 for Game Changer Wrestling. Um, now, 11 of these were all four-star matches. They're in no particular order. They just represent some of the best four-star matches they had. So when I say a number, it doesn't mean that the next number is better. It just means they're all four-star matches, and you got to put them somewhere. So number 22 comes from GCW Manic, Bandito versus Nick Wayne. Um, Bandito getting the victory. I gave it four star, May 21st. January 15th, GCW Say You Will, Bandito versus Blake Christian, four star match. Blake Christian gets the victory. February 25th, GCW 
Welcome to Heartbreak. Blake Christian versus Nick Wayne. Four star match. Blake Christian getting the victory. January 23rd. The biggest show in Game Changer Wrestling history. The World in GCW from the Hammerstein Ballroom in New York. Um, there is a preview and a review of that up here on Robert Sports Show. Leo Rush versus Blake Christian. Four star match. Blake Christian getting the victory. You're going to hear a lot of Nick Wayne and Blake Christian on here. Two young, talented guys. Blake Christian, six, or sorry, Nick Wayne is 16 years old. My God. I think he just turned 17. He's already signed a contract with AW, but he has to be 18 to wrestle for AW. Blake Christian has spent some time in NXT. He spent some time um, GCW and other independent companies. A little bit of Ring of Honor. Um, but yeah, one of my favorite wrestlers. I'm going to compare him to a young Will Ospreay. Um, next up from May 28th, Downward Spiral, Mike Bailey versus Chris Bay. Mike Bailey getting the victory, four star match. November 20th, GCW Allure, Alec Price versus Nick Wayne, four star match. Alec Price, he wrestles a lot in the Northeast, a lot for Beyond Wrestling and Wrestling Open and Northeast Wrestling a little bit. Um, uber freaking talented kid. Um, but Al Alec Price beat Nick Wayne in a four star match. Next up from March 31st, this is part of the WrestleMania weekend. Um, on Robert's Sports Show on the main page, if you go down to all the uh, playlist, there is a WrestleMania one uh, with all the shows from Game Changer this past WrestleMania weekend. I did a review of every show for WrestleCon and for Game Changer. Um, that show is there as well. Joey Janela, Spring Break 6, one, the day one. GCW World Title Champion John Moxley versus AJ Gray. Um, Mox getting the victory there. I give it a four star. Next up, April 30th, um, we had GCW In Too Deep. Mike Bailey versus Joe Janela. Mike Bailey getting the victory. Four star match. June 5th, GCW Cage of Survival. This was the Cage of Survival match for the GCW Ultraviolet Championship. We had champion John Wayne Murdoch versus the king of death matches, Alex Colon. Um, if you haven't seen this match, go watch it. It is a crazy death match, crazy match. Alex Colon, again, I call it, I call Alex Colon the king of death matches. He's won a bunch of tournaments. He won a tournament of survival. He's won a cage of survival matches. Um, Nick Gage is the guy of this shit. I mean, pretty much, he's the guy of death match wrestling. And then uh, Cole Roderick, I call him the ratty daddy. I call him the prince of hardcore, prince of this stuff. Um, so, yeah. Kind of a three-tier there. The god of this shit, the king, and the prince. Uh, next up, we had June 19th, I Will Never Like You. Blake Christian versus Jordan Oliver. Blake Christian getting a victory in a four-star match. Um, March 31st, GCW, Joss Barnett, Bloodsport 8. Biff Busick versus John Moxley. Mox getting the victory. I gave it four-star. Um, February 20th, GCW, Don't Tell Me What To Do. Cole Radrick, the ratty daddy. Versus Orin Vidal. Um, Cole Radderick getting the victory. I give it four star. We have the next two matches. They're both from November or um, September 16th. GCW in Liverpool. We had Joey Janela versus Nick Wayne. Janela getting the victory. I give it four and a quarter. And then we had the GCW Extreme Championship on the line in a fatal four way match. We had champion Cole Radderick, the Ratty Daddy versus Joe Lando, Leon Slater, and Tony Deppin. Um, Cole Ryder getting the victory. I give it four and a quarter. Number eight on the list, we have February 26th, the coldest winner, Mike Bailey versus Blake Christian. Blake Christian getting the victory. I give it four and a quarter. August 13th, homecoming weekend, day one, GCW Ultraviolet Champion, the King of Hardcore, Alex Cologne versus Rhea Yamashima. Um, Rima Yamashita got the victory, four and a quarter. Oh, this is one of those death matches you just gotta watch again. It was that damn good. On um, December 16th, America's Most Wanted GCW show, we had a six man Lucha Libre match. Um, yeah, I got a problem with these matches. I either overstar rate them or I just I just look at them like, oh my god, what did I just watch? That was just, just smile because it's so damn good. We had Gringo Loco and then Los Viperus, which is. Latigo and Toxin versus Aries, ASF, and Commander. They did things in this match I've never seen in pro wrestling before that looked as cool as shit as 
some of the best matches, one of the best matches ever. Um, I give it four and a half. It was that good. I mean, they were doing spots that's like, what just happened? Did I really see that? I have to rewind it and watch it again. Um, but yeah, it was just, yes, it was a spot fest. But you know what? I love me some spot fest. I can sit there and watch a match like this and just enjoy the holy hell out of it because of what it is. I can go out there and watch Yamashima Matashita versus Alex Cologne in a death match and just enjoy it for what it is. I can go out and watch Jonathan Gresham versus Zack Zach Sabre Jr. in a mat-based wrestling match and enjoy what it is because it's just a different style of wrestling. I enjoy almost every style of professional wrestling. Um, yeah, that match, four and a half stars. There's just nuts and a half. Um, June 18th, you wouldn't understand GCW World Title on the line. Champion John Moxley versus Tony Deppin. Four and a half. Mox retaining his title. July 29th, the People versus GCW. GCW World Heavyweight Title on the line. Champion John Moxley versus Blake Christian. Four and a half. Mr. Blake Christian came up short from beating Mox. Moxley retaining his GCW World Heavyweight title. Now, there has been, don't know how true it is, rumor, I'm not seeing a lot of truth to it, that Tony Khan has said that his talent is no longer able to wrestle in death matches. So John Moxley lost the title to Nick Gage and has not been on Game Changer since. I mean, I can understand why, but... Still to come on that, um, for sure, what's going on with that. Number three on the list, September 3rd, The Art of War 2, GCW World Tag Titles on the line, triple threat match. The Mega Bastards, the Mega Bastards, John Wayne Murdoch and Alex Cologne versus Bushy, Bussy, which is Ally Catch and Effie, wow, I forgot his name, versus Los Mizizos. Mega Bastards getting the victory. I give it four and a half. It was a hell of a good tag match. Triple, triple threat tag match. Number two on the list goes from Astronaut on March 12th. Jonathan Gresham versus Blake Christian. Gresham getting the victory. I gave it four and a half. In June 19th, I never liked you. William Osprey versus Nick Wayne. Oh my god. This match. It delivered in so many ways. It was so good. Nick Wayne is going to be uh -uh. <laughs> so 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 good someday. I mean, he's damn good now. He keeps improving. You know, one thing that Will Ospreay has done, he's always done the flips and stuff, and it's what I enjoy in Lucha Libre style. He added a power game because he put on bulk and put on muscle, just, just like Jordan Oliver's doing, just like Blake Christian needed to do. Just like kind of like AJ Styles did back in the day. Which has made him a different dynamic of a wrestler. Nick Wayne needs to do follow that same suit. It's almost like the Will Ospreay, Blake Christian, Nick Wayne, Alec Price, Jordan Oliver. They're almost all kind of so similar. And Jordan Oliver, the big breakfast they're calling him. He's building up like that too. Just like Ospreay. And it's just like making him so much better. Just adding to his overall game out there wrestling but yeah four and three quarters for that match so damn good so that is the best 22 matches of game changer wrestling for 2022 as we kick off the showcase of the independence um tomorrow we will have another independent company haven't decided which one yet so they're going to no particular order but we're going to profile another company go over the champions and go over the best 22 matches of 22 as always thanks for watching robert sports show don't just have a great day have a spiffy day. Robert Sports Show, your YouTube leader in sports channel content.